Hello, everyone. Welcome to our NCE training courses. I'm Lei from North Star Training Team. Our training is starting soon. And the topic today is troubleshooting different brightness issue. To provide you a good training environment, we sincerely suggest you to keep your audio on mute mode during the whole session. Please scan the QR code or click the link at the chat room to sign in. If you can't click the link, please copy and paste it to your browser. Feel free to leave your questions that are related to today's topic on the chat room. We will reply to you later on the Q&A session. If you have any other questions that are not about today's content, please feel free to send an email to nce at northstar.tech, or you can join LinkedIn NCE group to post your questions about the double training issue. So now let's welcome Mr. Angus. He is today's trainer. Hello everyone, I'm Angus from Northstar training team. I'm really glad we can have the training today because uh, this course is the, our last uh, topic of the online thing training. And I saw some old friend in the chat room, yeah, long time no see. And uh, if you don't know us, uh, if you don't know me before, please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Angus from Northstar training team. My friend always call me Angus, but I think you can come tonight. Okay, so let's see what kind of information I'm going to share you today. Before we start to the training, I want to show you the information about our examination. I know that this is the last course of our online training, so you may very curious about how we can get examination. So here, our uh, training, uh, uh, all the online examination will be happened on June 4th. And the, we also ran two time slots to, uh, for the client uh, to make sure the global clients can join the training, uh, can join the examination. So you can, see it, uh, uh, you can see the time information here. So if you want to join our examination, just, uh, come, to, uh, just come to our Zoom, uh, Zoom, uh, uh, our Zoom room. And you can get online exam link. And for the, all the questions during the examination will be divided into multiple choice questions and adjust the questions. So uh, I hope the, this eight topic of our training already share you enough information. And uh, I see, I hope you can get a good score during the examination. Okay, so if you have still have some question about the examination, we will explain more in the end of the training. Okay, so let's see, uh, let's go to the presentation of our content. First, if you already joined uh, yesterday, uh, the day before yesterday's training, my colleague Darren leave, leave you, left you some question or homework for you. So let's see together, we can do a review. Re a review. The question is, if there is a Franklin cabinet on your screens, what will you do to locate the issue? Wow, I think my colleague Darren gave you a very big question. Because this is the main topic, uh, main topic uh, for our past training. So here I want to share you some uh, information we already uh, shared uh, in the past, uh, uh, past uh, training. First, let's see. Every time when we met the frequency problem, normally we have two situations. The first is the frequency position is fixed, or the frequency position is unfixed. So here, I share you this form. This form is going to tell you how we think about, in which kind of way we're thinking about to check the problem. Because this is very, uh, there's a lot of things need to explain. So if you have any question about the how we can check the the uh, issue, how we can confirm the the where is the problem, uh, please check the video on our website, or you can also follow the our YouTube channel to know 
all the details about how we can check the frequency uh, problem. So here, just the uh, review of the the, uh, the thinking: how Nova Star engineer will check the problem if the frequency uh, problem is fixed. Now you can make a screenshot, or you can go to the YouTube channel. Let's say the next one that is the if the frequency is unfixed. Okay, so here's also we need to see whether this is the whole screen is frequency or the screen, the frequency is not on the, uh, not, not in a fixed uh, uh, position. So uh, here we mentioned the screen control, this function, if you, if you still re remember it, that is the very useful small function on our software, Nova LCT. Okay, so here we, because we, today we have the new topic, we will not uh, talk too much about how we can check the, uh, the reason of this problem. But I hope you already know how to solve this problem. Okay, so let's see the today's topic. The today's topic, that is the troubleshooting, the different brightness issue. So I believe in the in your daily job, you should match this kind of problem. Yeah, here the screen, maybe there's one output, the brightness of the screen is totally different. Or there's few cabinets on the screen has different brightness. I think this brightness issue never be a big problem, but it makes person, especially us, feel uncomfortable. So today, we're going to share my experience to, uh, to help you to see if next time, if you met this problem, how we can solve it or in which kind of steps we, need, we can do and we solve it. Okay, let's see what I prepare for you today. So today, I prepare six possible reasons for you. First, different brightness mode. Second, different RCFG or RCFG X file. Third, different firmware program. Uh, fourth, calibration coefficient. Five, power supply. Six, multiple punches. All of them will, will influence the brightness effects on the screen. So let's see them one by one. First, if you use Nova Star for a long time, you will know in the Nova LCT software, we will have the option which name is the brightness. When you click that option, you will get this interface. You will get this interface. In the brightness adjustment, brightness, especially in the menu uh, adjustment, you will see here we can adjust the brightness. This is the brightness level value which we can adjust. And here we have two brightness modes, grayscale or contrast. Contrast. So here, uh, what I want to explain is in the internal, our software internal algorithm, uh, our system will do these two parameters in different way. So that's why if we want to keep the one of them as the higher priority, we will influence a little bit on the brightness, on the brightness level. And uh, uh, here, the brightness, we call it the brightness information. So if next time anyone asks you, okay, what is the brightness information in Nova Star system? You can tell them the brightness information has two parts, at least the two parts. One is the brightness value, this part, strong or not. And another one is brightness mood. We can use the grayscale, uh, with grayscale uh, high priority or the contrast the high priority. But here, what I want to tell you is, if you met the, uh, any brightness issue, the reason is this part. What you, what you will going to say is, when you turn on the screen, you will find a few cabinets has different brightness, and you, if you add just this part, everything will be solved. The screen will has good image, good brightness. But when you power off, power on, the problem comes back. So why I ask you a question? Because I want to, I want you to know uh, the principal part of this in, uh, of these uh, settings. Before I give you the answer, I want to ask you one question. Every time when we talk about the brightness information, where do we save this information in our system? If you think we save this in, uh, in this information in uh, sending controller, please type one in the chat room. If you think the pro these parameters will be saved in the receiving card, please type two in the chat room. One or two. 
So actually, actually, I, maybe I, I, even now I cannot see what you type in the chat room, but I can guess maybe some of you still thinking, okay, this information will be saved in the sending controller. But sorry, actually this information will, is saved in the receiving card. It is saved in the receiving card. So please see here, here we have the save to hardware. Why we have this option? So that means if you do any adjustment in the software, the information will be sent to the receiving card, but as short memory, not long terms. Only after you type to click, uh, you click the save to hardware, this information will be saved in the receiving card as long time. As long time. So that's why, that's why in our uh, solutions, we suggest you can adjust the brightness first, then select the one of the modes of the brightness, then click save. The so save is very important. Save to hard me where means we save everything in this interface to the receiving card part. Okay, so this is the first reason of the brightness issue. I hope I explain well. Next one is, in the receiving card, there's not only one RCFG or RCFG X file can, uh, can be used. So here we give you an example. Here we have two cabinets. They have the exact same LD module. We can know from the module information. These two, they are totally the same. And the, the cabinet information here means the resolution of the cabinet is the same. 122, 122, uh, sorry, 128, 128, right? So if we say the physical part, these two cabinets are totally the same, but they still have the brightness problem on the, uh, on, on the screens. So the reason, uh, the problem is come from the performance settings, like here. The refresh rate, refresh rate they are different. The grid skill level are different, and the most important one, which will influence the, which will influence the brightness, that is the brightness efficiency. Okay, maybe I think you have a question. So, what is the difference between brightness information and brightness efficiency? Okay, first a tip for you: you should pay attention. When we talk about brightness information, we, that is, that one is. The our, our Nova Star system feature. That one can be controlled by our software. But here we talk about the brightness efficiency, efficiency that is come from the driver IC, this one. This one. Actually, if I want you, I need to explain the uh, relationship between the efficiency, refresh rate, grid skill on the driver IC that is really big story and a little bit complex. So here I want to explain it in another simple way. Please see here. I use this circle I act as the ability of driver IC. So the size of this circle is limited. So that means for each different kind of the driver IC, it, the, it itself has the limited ability. But the ability of the driver IC will be divided in different parts. And for different parts, it has different functionality. For example, this green part will control the refresh rate. Orange part will control the brightness efficiency. Gray, a gray part will control the gray skill. Of course, the driver IC can control more uh, parameters. But here, I didn't write, the, write it here. I just used the others to instead of. OK. so. If the, limit, uh, if the ability of the driver IC is limited, so that means now if I want to change a little bit of the parameters, that means the other parameters will be influenced. For example, it will be like this. Did you see that? Let's see it again. This is before I do any adjustment. Now I just I adjust a little bit of the grid skill. It already be influenced the, the brightness efficiency, others or the refresh rate. So I want to use this, this example to explain that when the ability of the driver IC is confirmed, and we, we adjust the uh, parameters as refresh rate, grid skill, it will influence the brightness efficiency. And if the brightness efficiency is changed, what we will see by our human being eyes, that is the brightness on the screen, totally different. Okay, because in the market, there's different brand of the driver IC. 
So we there's no one re, one confirmed uh, relationship can be used on all of them. So uh, so here I will not explain too much about Java ICP. Here I just want you to understand that the relationship between them in one Java IC. So so that so you now you know why the brightness efficiency change will influence the uh, effects on the whole screens. So how we can solve this problem? Actually, that is really very simple. First, you need to confirm which one is the which captain is the one you you uh, you 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 need the brightness. Which one is not? For example, if the cabinet one is the same is the one which you need, you can read the RCFG or RCFG X file back from the receiving card. Okay, here read. Okay, if don't ask me how we can get this interface. Uh, my colleague Arnold already explained this in the past uh, uh, training course. The second one, the basic knowledge of the Nova LCT software. Okay, so if you don't know how we can get this interface, this one, please check that video on the YouTube channel or our website. Okay, so first we can read the RCFG or RCFG X file back from this interfa interface. Then we can send it to the different brightness cabinet. If you don't want to do this specially, actually you can send to all the screen. Yeah, if you send all the screens, we can make sure the all the screen has the same RCFG X file. Okay, so this is how we can simply uh, solve this problem. Another question. Now we talk about the RCFG or RCFG X file. If you lost the RCFG or RCFG file, what are we going to do? If you think you can create one by yourself, please type one. If you think you can check with North Engineer, please type two. If you think, okay, you have a good manufacturer, you can type three. One, two, or three. Okay, so if you ask me, I think I prefer to choose number two or number three. So I, if I were you, I prefer to uh, check the manufacturer or the uh, Noah Star Engineer because different manufacturers, they have different design of the PCB board. So I'm not, I cannot confirm. I know everything about the, uh, the cabinet, the, the, the LD module. So it's, if we want to reduce the risk, it's better to check with the, your supplier. That is the, the safe way. Yeah, I hope you can do everything simple. So just to check with the manufacturer. Okay, so this is about how we can solve the problem if the reason is come from the RCFT or RCFT X file. Let's see the next one. We have the RCFG X file, but we also have another one also be saved in the receiving card. That's the, that is the firmware program. If you join the past the training course, I, I believe you already know what is the firmware program. So here I will not explain what is the firmware program. So, uh, so after, after, the, uh, uh, after uh, you try the, the steps about the brightness information and uh, RCFG or RCFG, X fell, may the problem is still there. Maybe the problem is come from the firmware program in the receiving card. So first we need, we suggest you to find out the firmware program version. So here I give you an example. So from this example, we can see, okay, there's three kinds of different firmware program. Yeah, three. So when we, when we see this interface, we have three different uh, version. What are we going to do? One, we update directly, just to choose one of them. Second, we find the latest standard version to update it. Third, we check with North Star or manufacturer whether we can do the upgrade or not. One, two, three, which one you prefer? which one you would choose. So here, so here, I give you the recommend from North Star training team. If you met any problem about the firmware program, there's two things you need to check. First is the name of the, uh, of the version. For example, here we can see, in this firmware program, there's the custom. 
Okay, actually, personally, I don't like this word because it means this former program is customized. So you, you should know what is customized. So that means the normal uh, support engineer, we cannot know all the details of the customized because we don't know what is different. It's customized. So we, what we could need to do is you ask me, we check with R&D or we check with manufacturer whether what is different in this, in this customized version. So one tips, when you meet the customized former program, please never update it directly. What you need to do is you ask for help uh, from North Star or the manufacturer because we too is the person who can give you the advice whether you can do the update it or not. Okay, so this is the first thing. The second is if you made the words STD, STD means the standard. Standard. Uh, if you have the, if you see that is the standard version in your software, first things you cannot use standard, standard version to instead of the customized one. No, please never do that. But if you can use the latest, the up, uh, latest standard version to, uh, to update the, the old version. Because standard, standard uh, former program, we already do a lot of tests about it. So we have confidence you can update it, update it. But in case of any some special problem or situation, no matter that a standard one or the customized one, please check the version first, make a screenshot and send to us. And the, the professional guys, someone like me, we will let you know whether you can do the update or not. Okay, so please pay, pay attention. So this is about if we met the problem, the, uh, if we met the um, problem, brand is issue, the reason is, is come from the former program. Okay. The next one, the reason for, the reason for is about the calibration coefficient. So here I give you the first uh, situation. We see this screen. Okay, there's one captain that seems a little bit brighter. But if we go close to the screen, we've noticed that so this part is not brighter. This, is, this part is not uniform, right? It's very obvious, right? You see the surrounding cabinet, everything goes well, just this one uh, looks a little bit brighter, uh, brighter but without calibration. So the reason of this um, part, this part, is because of a lot of uh, the, maybe the receiving card, may have some unknown reason it lost its calibration coefficient, or this receiving card is the new replacement, or this receiving card don't turn on the calibration issue. So how we can solve this problem? Let's do like this. So first, we need to go to the calibration option, which is on the Nova LCT software. We try to turn on or turn off in this, in this part. We see any, if there's anything change of that brighter parts, if there's nothing happened, so that means, okay, there's without calibration coefficient. If, if we turn on the calibration coefficient and that receiving card has the correct coefficient, the problem will be solved. Okay, so if the receiving card don't have the calibration coefficient, okay, we do the next step. Please check whether you have the calibration database. Calibration database, that is the one which received the calibration coefficient. So if you have that coefficient, that means you new manufacturer, your manufacturer already do the calibration for you in the, their warehouse. And you, what you need to do is to do the re-upload re-upload coefficient from this option, from this option. Then your cabinet will get the correct calibration coefficient. The problem will also be saved, or will be solved, will be solved. So after these two steps, problem still there. So that means the receiving card is empty without any uh, calibration coefficient. What are we going to do? Recalibrate it. Okay, so the next step is about our calibration uh, system. So uh, actually the calibration coefficient, uh, calibration system is most important feature of our Novastar product. 
So that is very long, very, very big content. We prepared specific training only for the calibration, uh, uh, calibration course. So if you are interested about how we can do the calibration or whether you want to have the full uh, training of the calibration, please send an email to us. If we collect enough information uh, requirement from market, we will arrange the online training. We will around online training. So here we will not explain too much about the uh, how we can do uh, calibration. Just to know if you don't have the uh, if you have the calibration system, you can try to do the recalibrate it in the new module. Okay. So let's see the next one. The next one uh, situation is seen. On the screen, there's one part cabinet is brighter, but we can see here, the image inside the cabinet is good. So that means this cabinet and the surrounding cabinet always be calibrated. But why it has different? It means maybe they, are, they were calibrated in different time, different location, different camera settings. So I will expl explain a little bit about why they have this problem. So this is the brightness of the LED light. Before we do the calibration, it maybe has 100% brightness. But after the calibration, the brightness will be reduced a little bit. Here, the recommended uh, reduced brightness level is 8%. But as I mentioned, if the time is different, location is different, calibration setting, uh, camera setting is different, it will always influence the result of the calibration. So that's why we cannot confirm all the, every time after calibration, they reduce 8%. It depends on, uh, depend on the screen. If they're good enough, we reduce less. If they're very bad, we need to reduce more. So that's why even we do the calibration, they still have this problem. But how we can solve it? This is the important things. In our Nova LCD software, we have one function which name is the adjust the calibration coefficient. This the software setting is a lot. So if you want to know something about this part, please go to the Nova Star Tech support training option, Nova Star Online Workshops. Go to the Nova Star course. You will see you will find this one. We prepared the video for you. Okay, please check that video. We will not show you the detailed settings today. The next one, the power supply. Okay, maybe someone, when you see this reason, okay, power, how is it possible? How the power supply will influence the brightness? But actually, sometimes when the power supply output is not strong enough, it will cause the LED don't have the enough driver current. And the cabinet of one um, or one or part of them will show the different brightness. It happened. But how we can solve it? Because this is the hardware problem. What we can do is going to test the, the voltage of the power supply out, whether it is correct or not. But before you do the test, you need to know what is the standard operating voltage. So in this part, please check with your manufacturer. Because if they do some special design of the cabinet, the standard operating, uh, operating voltage will be a little bit different. Okay, so this part, we can help, but we cannot control. The last reason, multiple bench modules. I believe when you see this word, the multiple benches, you feel, okay, you hate it. I hate it also because this is the industry problem. Uh, we, can, we can develop it, the effect, but we cannot 100% solve it. The reason is, I give you an example here. The, uh, the materials of the cabinet is totally different. Even we didn't light up the screen, we can see, okay, these two masks will have the color difference. This looks a little bit brighter, this a little bit darker. If you have the camera, we can also do the calibration, but if you don't have it, we can use the, the following function, the multi-bench adjustment in the Nova LCD software. Okay, I think you have a question, how we can use it? Don't worry. We also prepared the, the video for you because to do these settings, you need a lot of good, uh, you, you need the full experience of Noastar system. So please check that video. Your old friend Darren created this one. So he will give you, give you an explanation how you can use the multi bench adjustment function. Okay, still the same place. Please check about it. Okay.
If you already do the, all the six steps, I believe 90% of the brightness different issue will be solved. Will be solved. So maybe you, some of you already know how to solve this problem, but don't have anyone to give you a summary. So today, after the presentation, I give you a summary of the, these six steps. For the receiving card, four parameters is important. Different brightness level, oh sorry, different brightness mode, different RCFX file, different firmware program, different calibration coefficient is important. It's always be saved in the receiving card. So that means if you change or replace the receiving card on your, on your, uh, in your cabinet, please pay attention on these four parameters. The rest of the two, the power supply, the, the power supply, the multi benches, this is about the problem of the uh, hardware. So this part we can help, we cannot control. Okay, so that is the uh, main presentation part about the, today's topic, the brand is different issue. So uh, if you are satisfied with the training, please help to scan the QR code, or you can click the link to give us a feedback. The feedback is very important. You can also join the LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn group to uh, share your idea about the training. And in this group, we will discuss more about the uh, training topic. You will get the record of the video to, to this session, and uh, you can get the video link from the uh, website, and you can follow the Noah Star YouTube channel to watch this video. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us on nc at noahstar.tech, this email address. And uh, if you want to learn more, you can go to our website to see all the video. We prepared them for you. Okay, so the next part,